mining, crafting, morally flexible space corporations that give me a chub, and most importantly, ethnic cleansing. Drill Core is a game that satisfies all my unsavory urges. You drop in from space, establish a basic drilling platform, and your underpaid staff get to work. Our orange miners dig out the resources, while the blue gang members pick up the rocks and carry them to the core. Collecting these resources like I collect horse semen, and I can spend the gathered materials on upgrades to my platform like a barracks, allowing me to convince new people that black lung is an even exchange for a modest paycheck. In addition to the barracks, we also built a research lab, which grants me access to new upgrades for my workers, increasing their productivity, obviously without additional pay. But the resources I have gathered so far are trivial and only allow me to make base upgrades. What we are truly after are these special minerals, but they are buried deep in the planet. To dig deeper, we need to find coal which is purple in this game. Yet this whole operation is all under the guise of completing a contract for the planet's residents to adjust the magnetic core of their home. Secretly though, we want the shiny rocks. But we have to put our mining plans on hold, as every night, instead of a wave of embarrassing memories overtaking my thoughts until I cry myself to sleep like a little bitch, I am instead forced to face a swarm of bugs. But don't worry, with the first two turrets we built, that happen to be government subsidized, the bugs get sprayed with lead like I get sprayed with hot liquid every Tuesday in the Denny's parking lot. Unfortunately, this right turret is how my teachers described me, slow. So after erasing some random bugs' bloodlines, we invested a new turret as a handler of sorts for the one above it, and the workers get back to mining, but they are faced with a reality darker than their black lungs. Some bugs come from below. We can hold them off by mining up the blocks they spawn from, but occasionally one gets out, and our highly trained security force has to deal with them. You can hold their spawns by destroying the nests of baby bugs, so call me Mao Zedong's Great Chinese Famine of 1959 to 1961, cause I am killing these kids. Our miners won't truly be safe until every nest is destroyed, but as your manager, I elect to focus on digging up resources instead. I personally guarantee your safety. And eventually, we find more bug eggs. Seems my strategy aligned with your best interests, and definitely wasn't in the interests of shareholders. Speaking of shareholder interests, we discover not only some coal, but the precious gold mineral that I don't know the name of. Surely it can't be gold. That would be stupid. It's called Lunarite, so it seems I'm actually the stupid one. But as night falls on day two, we pull our workers out of the mine and prepare to kill creatures solely because they don't look like us. When the coast was clear, I sent our workers back into the mines to dig up the coal we found, and once it is retrieved, we have two in storage, out of the four coal needed to descend to a new depth. But for now, we continue digging up the auxiliary resources, and this time, instead of buying material once, like buildings or turrets, we buy gun upgrades for our guards, just as the founding fathers would have wanted. So now, when one of these bad boys get loose, our guards can almost die fighting them and be left severely injured. The company isn't gonna pay for your medical care, so instead, we fire him and replace him with another worker willing to die a horrific death. Because you all are replaceable, unlike the multi-million dollar core. So these weapon investments are worth the price to keep the undesirable bugs the fuck away from our platform. On day four, we find a hidden treasure. Once a member of Blue Gang carries it back to the platform, we are gifted with a free technology. We are given three options to choose from, and as tempted as I am to get the grenade launcher, I instead opt to buy platform machine guns that stack 30% more damage each time we build one. I immediately spend what resources we have been saving up to construct not one, but two of our new toys. Ooh boy, I can't wait for Nightfall, as now I join the fight. Controlling the platform guns, I fire off a barrage that finishes a little too quickly, like me. Another night has come and gone, and I think it is time we invest in expanding our workforce by constructing another barracks. However, we lack the funds to hire more people. So get to work, you lazy pieces of shit. 
You better find those resources by the end of the day or you will lose body pillow privileges during designated sleep time tonight. To my surprise, they actually did find the materials to hire more people who will probably come to regret joining. Anyway, welcome to the company. We pretty much mined up all the resources, but the last piece of coal is nowhere to be found. Like my dad, who left to get milk when I was 12. He's coming back though. The store's just really far away. We didn't find my dad, however, we did find a new piece of tech that granted us rocket launchers. Ooh, hot dog! The American in me is teeming with excitement. Unfortunately, we will have to wait until the next night to use them. One of our drillers, who probably deserves a raise but won't get one, found the last piece of coal. Unlocking the ability for us to drill deeper, and we want to go ASAP, as we found another piece of rocket tech. But our current mine is drier than my love life. No resources means no new rockets, so we prep our glorious platform for its descent to begin the hunt for the resources needed to build the second type of launcher, but we can't descend until after the next nightly raid, which we may come sooner by blasting 80 synthwave through the platform speakers. And like magic, the wages come running. We fire a gloriously patriotic missile at the creatures defending their home. Hang on, we can launch two more? I'm usually only good for one explosion. Our turrets sing the song of capitalism, splitting apart the unsavory bugs until the last is defeated, and our platform descends to a new depth of 100 meters. Apparently down here, there are underground worms. Don't worry, my loyal workers, the corporation has no proof that these worms even exist. It's just a silly little rumor. We begin mining at the new depth, scrambling more bug eggs and unlocking more new tech. I can choose minigun turrets or an exploder, which kills all the enemies but is destroyed upon its use. Obviously, I picked the exploder. Unfortunately, I can't build it. Not because I'm poor, which I am, but we currently have the maximum nighttime abilities between my turrets and rocket launchers. And I'm not gonna be deleting these. So the company circles back to our old mission, gathering the resources to build the alternate rocket launcher, mining some coal while we're at it. And when the night arrives, the unsightly horde charges forth to be blown apart by our American-made rockets and turrets. Shockingly, the bugs are starting to make it to our core, and it took a bit of damage. Hopefully, we can get that new rocket turret up and running tomorrow, but like everything in my life, there is a problem. The last piece of iron ore we need is at the end of a hallway with the lava then. We could safely mine through the ceiling, but that is a waste of company time and resources. So I sent a worker into harm's way to destroy the vent. If you get hurt, you'll get workers comp. The next potential victims were successful though, drilling not only the lava vent, but the iron ore too, granting us enough iron to finish our rocket tower. Oh, and a quick status update on the miner burned to the brink of death. Yeah, he uh, got murdered by a bug five minutes later. It's okay though, we could just hire someone to replace him as our employees are seen as numbers, not people. Speaking of not seeing them as people, the bugs show up once again to defend their planet from being stripped of resources. But they become unknowing volunteers in a demonstration on the difference between my two rocket launchers. The first one built, I directly control which bugs it squashes, while the other fires automatically, defending my platform from the anti-capitalist bugs by itself, bringing us to a new day, and... What was that? Uh, it's just the wind. Now, get back to work. We discovered a new type of block that expands. I'm sure if we ignore it, nothing bad will happen, like, say, it expands, trapping two of our workers with a ravenous bug. Nothing preventable like that. We are implementing a new company policy that we mine these growing blocks when we see them, as new people cost money. Money that could be put towards our genocidal side quest. And since we lost not two, but three people because of this, uh, I want to say mistake, but I would need to admit I was wrong. So instead, I will say oversight. Because of this oversight, our iron has been depleted replacing our workers, which has put us in a tough spot, as our lack of security leads to losses in our workers and guards, leaving us with only four blue gang members left. We would have been stuck if not for a single piece of iron a miner dug up before they, uh, cut company costs. 
With salvation in hand, we hire another miner, and this time watch them intensely like a teenager who first discovered porn. Side note, it seems like the bugs are evolving as a new unit has appeared, one with a fat, juicy, red ass like a baboon. And apparently, these guys were big fans of Pearl Harbor. With our defenses close to being overrun and our workforce decimated, I'm unsure if we're gonna win this game. But as long as there is a will to exploit your workforce and consumer base, capitalism will be victorious. I wonder if I can get a refund by deleting one of my useless blue guys, as we don't need four of them if we only have one miner. Fuck, all I did was just kill a guy. Our lone miner breaks a sweat, mining in search of the iron we need to get him some friends. <sighs> Wouldn't it be nice to have those? Luckily, he hits the jackpot, finding three sources in a row. Once we sacrifice it to the monument of the capitalist gods, we begin recruiting guards to exchange fire with the bugs like I exchange choice words with slow people in the grocery store. We really need to make an effort to find more coal, but instead we dig up this iron. And look at that! Using our old method, we found coal behind the iron. We don't have time to mine it now, as more of the groups we don't want to associate with arrive, seriously overwhelming our defenses. Oh look, a worm. I guess they are real. I'm sure the workers will be okay going back into the mines with the knowledge of their existence. We dig up the third piece of coal and begin the search for the final piece as the group is in a spot tighter than my tushy, as we are digging through sturdier chunks of rock, slowing the drilling time down significantly, meaning we have less time to search for coal between each night. And without the funds necessary to build new defenses, my core has to buckle up and endure the pain, like me with a word that starts with P and ends with egging. Luckily, we hit a new iron vein, which gave us enough to build a new turret at the tip of the shaft. It seems to be giving them a light tease, like Egyptian volleyball players showing some ankle, but it helps us survive the night. Don't worry, my brave workers, I am certain we will find that last piece of coal and get out of here in no time. Oh, I was so unbelievably wrong. In the following three days, we spent hours digging and digging while under constant siege, but I didn't find any coal. We did get enough resources though to make a mine launcher, but following the game's instructions to put it at the bottom, I put it a little too low. So most of the bugs could still hit the core without touching a mine, thus dwindling the core's health and putting us on life support. I further made my position worse by refunding the launcher and then one of the free turrets to try to get more resources back. But it yielded me with less resources than what I started with, because each refund incurs a fee. However, on day 20, we found and dug out the last piece of coal. We didn't leave immediately, however, as there were still some iron veins to mine. Though after surviving the following night, taking even more damage to the core, we finally mined down to a depth of 150 meters. Upon reaching the final depth of the contract, we are given the option to launch our core and evacuate. I probably should, but Mama didn't raise no bitch. Well, she did, but I'm not gonna be running today, as we need to do everything in our power to raise our shareholders' value. And if that means foolishly digging deeper into the mine, risking the lives of our workforce, then it is a sacrifice I am willing to make. And when night falls, we are ready, as we rebuild the mine launcher, this time actually in a position to stop the bugs descending down on the left. We must endure, and the core must hold strong, as we have plenty more digging to do in the following day. Unfortunately, we didn't find any of the profitable minerals, only enough resources for us to install another rocket launcher. Which gets us through one more night, with our core essentially screaming, as it has less than two health bars remaining. Yeah, the core's probably gonna die, because whatever the fucking arachnor is, is heading our way. That doesn't sound good, and we should probably hold G and get out of here. But we stayed behind to find resources for our company, and find them we shall. It took most of the day, but we eventually mined more of the precious yellow stone. We signal our workers to retreat to the platform, beginning the night. And what appears from above is the ugliest, least like us bug we have ever seen. Therefore, we hate it the most. We fire everything we have at it, hoping to cleanse this world of its most disgusting life form. 
but nothing we have seems to be putting a dent in it as it creeps downward 50 meters, 100 meters, then finally 150 meters reaching our core. Well, this is where we swallow our pride and admit defeat. Funny, I should be used to swallowing by now, but this one stings a little. However, a miracle happens. Arachnor retreats back to the surface. We should be thankful and take this as a sign to leave, but we still have more mining to do. I'm certainly gonna regret this, but hey, we upgraded our defenses, so we should be fine. And like Epstein's Island's guess, we weren't punished, as some bugs still made it to the core, reducing it to its last HP bar, but we survived the night. This time though, I'm actually calling it quits, as a transport shuttle arrives to extract the workers and the resources we gathered, and then we launch the core. It's all good though, as it turned the planet blue, signaling that we solved climate change. After today, nobody can ever claim that corporations are responsible for global warming ever again. Thank you to Drillcore for sponsoring this video. I had a ton of fun trying their game, so be sure to check it out on Steam. But if you enjoyed the video or are a really cool person, you should check out my last video where I try to escape a doomed planet with expert survival tactics such as dancing?